For those familiar with the subject of feminism, you are likely also familiar with its standard definition. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of equality of the sexes, according to at least Oxford English dictionaries. Chances are, if you belong to the opposing side to feminism, or even the feminist side for that matter, you have likely heard the common defense of feminism as a movement of equality between the sexes. The support for such a claim? Well, if it was not inferable from the top excerpt from Oxford Dictionaries, it's the dictionary, of course. Now, I'm going to do what is my favorite activity both on the internet and in real life, which is to tear up this defense and show you why it is completely wrong. Besides being an appeal to authority, a logical fallacy, by the way, such an argument produces a major folly in one area of particular importance, the understanding of the usage of definitions and how dictionaries actually work. First, a quick look at language. Language is a complex subject for a number of reasons, not the least of which being diversity. Language is extremely notable for its requirement of common recognition, or simply put, a general consensus on what words apply to what. The fact that different languages exist should stand as evidence to this. Slang or even modern concept creation should also qualify in this regard as proof. To summarize this point for the sake of brevity, Language is relative in nature. Now on to the primary argument. To open this one up, I'm going to be using a bit of a historical case study on the dictionary. We can trace dictionaries all the way back to 2300 BCE. In a more contemporary sense, however, the concept of a dictionary arises from an English man by the name of John of Garland in the year 1220, who wrote a book called Dictionaris to help with Latin diction. Now the original type, yes there are actually types of dictionaries, that we use today is known as a descriptive dictionary. Now dictionaries were not always like this. Originally prescriptive dictionaries were commonplace. The purpose of a prescriptive dictionary is to prescribe or dictate language. Essentially it was a rule book by which language was to be used. However in the late 20th century many definition dictionaries such as the Oxford English Dictionary and Webster's Third Edition, became descriptive dictionaries. Descriptive dictionaries differ from prescriptive ones in that they do not actually dictate language. Rather, they utilize commonly used meanings for words. This is of extreme importance to this video because this means that modern dictionary definitions are actually not authoritative at all. They do not actually define words, but rather standard meanings for words. This is where the look at the dictionary definition for arguments fall apart. That's because what the dictionary states is only really useful in aiding communication, not enforcing it. So the idea of equality equaling feminism is really just suggested by the dictionary as a commonly used meaning rather than what it actually is. To conclude, those that use the argument of definition clearly do not understand how language works, and the purpose of a modern dictionary is descriptive in purpose. So if you're arguing that feminism is not about equality, and one points out to the dictionary, stating, you don't understand, you actually do. They just don't understand language, or dictionaries for that matter.